This is the Scoop for Thursday. I'm Lisa Marzilli with the WMNF News Headlines. The Southwest Florida Water Management District is banning campfires and other sources of open flame on district conservation lands. That includes the Upper Hillsboro Preserve, Lower Hillsboro Wilderness Preserve, and Cypress Creek Preserves. Earlier this week, some 96 fires were burning over 9,000 acres across the state. Burn bans prohibit outdoor fires such as campfires, bonfires, and trash burning. Outdoor grilling and fire rings are not included. Fire crews are working to contain at least three large brush fires burning in Polk County. As of last night, firefighters and the Florida Forest Service were still working to get control over several brush fires in the Canopy Oaks and Indian Lake Estates areas off Highway 630 East and Highway 60. The large brush fires and some smaller ones have burned a total of 900 acres. A burn ban has been in effect in Polk County since May 28th. Hillsborough County residents can express their concerns about flooding and other hazards in their area next week. WMNF's Chris Young reports county officials are seeking input from the public to fuel relief projects. Hillsborough County officials want to know what problems residents are having and are trying to reach as many people as possible. It's to update two assessments that help experts measure flooding and climate change, one of which the state requires coastal communities to complete in order to receive funding. Troy Salisbury is Hillsborough County's Hazard Mitigation Resiliency and Sustainability Manager. We don't know as staff, we don't know all of those vulnerabilities that people deal with on a daily basis. Salisbury says a big problem is flooding. We get a lot of thunderstorms here. We obviously have uh, rain events. We also have, of course, hurricanes. Uh, going into this hurricane season, especially is, is very important to, to know where those flooding issues are. The nonprofit First Street Foundation says over 154,000 properties have a risk of flooding over the next 30 years, according to data from their website. The meeting is scheduled for Tuesday, June 11th at the Riverview Public Library. Members can also participate in the event virtually. Chris Young, WMNF News, Tampa. The city of Lakeland has denied a request from the NAACP to release police body video cam of a confrontation between at least two officers and a teenager on Memorial Day weekend. WTSP reports that community activists accuse officers of overreacting when they arrested 16-year-old Jamal Hudson during a pool party at a nearby apartment complex. Video taken by a witness shows Hudson being held by the hair as officers punched and then tased the teen, knocking him to the ground. Hudson has been charged with trespassing, battery, and resisting arrest and is scheduled to be back in juvenile court later this week. Lakeland NAACP branch president Terry Coney says releasing the video would help address transparency concerns and allegations of police brutality within the department. However, Lakeland Mayor Bill Mutt said for now they are denying the NAACP's request, citing procedures in the Florida's Officer Bill of Rights, which applies to any situation in which a law enforcement agency is conducting an internal investigation of one of its own. Robert Dubois was sentenced to death for rape and murder in 1983, but he was later exonerated, and his story is being chronicled by the Tampa Bay Times. Yesterday on WMNF's Midpoint, suspended Hillsborough County State Attorney Andrew Warren talked about how the conviction was overturned. There was a concern that he was the wrong person. The conviction was based on two very flimsy pieces of evidence. One was bite mark, which was the idea that a scientist could look at marks on somebody's skin and conclusively say that bite belonged to Andrew Warren. You can hear the full interview on WMNF.org. I'm Lisa Marzilli with the WMNF News Headlines. This is The Scoop, recorded at WMNF Tampa.